This is now episode three of Tornado Watch Utah Bound. Ryan Gasser and Danny McBride now in the great state of Wyoming on our quest to Salt Lake City, Utah. And Danny, you've done uh, a majority of the driving this morning while I was back there napping, so you got a better vantage point than I as we were going through the Rocky Mountains. Describe a little bit uh, just the scenery that you got to enjoy. Yeah, the Rockies were absolutely amazing. Um, kind of the polar opposite of Kansas. And so with all my complaints and uh, downfalls about Kansas, I would say that the Rocky Mountains getting onto the other side of uh, Denver, Colorado was absolutely incredible. Uh, it, I think that the mountains over there in Asheville near us in uh, North Carolina are impressive until we got to the Rockies and it kind of put the uh, kind of put those mountains to shame. So uh, it was a really nice drive over there. Uh, the weather's holding out decent, and we are just on uh, Interstate 80, just on the north side of the Rocky Mountains, which you can actually see um, just in the background here. So um, yeah, making good time and just uh, trucking along. Yeah, those are the Rocky Mountains in the back. This is uh, again, we're in the state of Wyoming, but uh, if you're a geography major of any sort or know anything about the. Uh, Western geography that they extend pretty far out and, and Danny I was asleep while you were actually driving through the mountains uh, Talk about the adventure. Is it anything like going up route 421 there in Bristol? Anybody that has been up there knows what I'm talking about Well, uh, it wasn't quite as disastrous as route 20, 421. There wasn't any uh, Wasn't any cutbacks or anything like that, but um, yeah, it was a nice it was definitely a nice drive and uh, Again, like I said, just a change from driving in flat Kansas. So uh, coming down those, coming down the mountains with the uh, trailer in the back, you know, we're uh, hardly needing any gas. But it was a lot of fun, and uh, like I said, I was I was enjoying the company of myself while you were napping back there. <laughs> And uh, we got to stop in at Denver, Colorado last night. Uh, we didn't get to see much of the city being that, that it was uh, at nighttime. But when we woke up this morning and got back on the road, uh, definitely, at least from my you know, interpretation of your reaction, you're kind of town, huh? Yeah, definitely. I love the city and uh, I love the fact that it's like right there in the city and then it's just the mountains right in the background. So uh, I love Denver, Colorado. It's probably one of my uh, new favorite cities in America. So uh, yeah, it was definitely cool to be there and uh, definitely, glad that, definitely glad that we stopped off there last night. Uh, your shift ends in about an hour and then I kind of bring it on home as we get to Salt Lake City. So. Um, are you anxious at all to get there or are you just enjoying the drive and you kind of don't want it to end? I mean, I know we've been on here for what seems like forever. Yeah, I mean, I'm ready to get there, but, uh, you know, the drive's been fun and uh, it's really not taking as long and uh, the drive itself hasn't felt like it's taken, you know, two and a half days. It just kind of feels like short segments of driving and then before you know it, you're in the passenger seat and chilling out and, uh, you know, catching up the internet and emails and uh, phone calls and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I'm excited to get there, but uh, it's been fun right? So. Well, let's be clear, we, we get to enjoy the internet and email when it's available. And <laughs> let's just say that it's uh, it's not exactly always been available, especially when we were going through Kansas and Wyoming. We're very, very lucky to even get a, a phone signal here. But um, just, you know, we, we were talking about some of the music that we were listening to, so let's get off the topic of business. And, uh, you know, we've been having a pretty eclectic mix. So what do you think's been the, uh, the favorite genre of the trip so far? Well, I would say uh, that the country music has been on uh, maybe more than I'd expected, more than I'd maybe liked, but um, had some hardcore techno and dance music on that's kept us awake, and that's definitely uh, that's definitely my my type of music. But you know, a little bit of Jason Aldean and uh, you know, chilling on the dirt road, uh, all that kind of fun stuff. So it's been good. Definitely been an interesting one, and uh, like I said, I'm ready to ready to be there. And, uh, get out of Wyoming as well because like you said chances of getting any kind of phone service or internet service here is pretty minimal. Uh, I think all you really see is farmland and cows so not a whole lot of civilization out this way. Well we know that you're going to have to catch up on the first two episodes and we're going to try to merge them all together. We'll keep this one short. Last question Danny though. Um, just talk about uh, you know we've made pretty much 80% of the first leg of this trip to Utah and uh, just talk, uh, are, you, are you looking forward to the second leg as with the return trip, having gone through all of this again, or is this something that you're just gonna have to trudge through? <laughs> uh, I'm not so sure that the trip home is gonna be just as much fun. Uh, and uh, as we make it at all possible, I would love to just bypass Kansas. So <laughs> um, 
if there's any way that we can do that, we'll definitely be doing that. Um, I don't know. I think I think the ride home will be uh, hopefully a little, a little faster, with less stops. Uh, but yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just have to make it work, I guess. All right. Well, this has been Ryan Gasser and Danny McBride. We'll give you one last look at the Rockies as we sign off here. Currently in Wyoming, en route to Salt Lake City, Utah, for the King College Cycling National Championships. And we'll hopefully bring you another episode once we get into Salt Lake and we get the team all boarded up and back home safely. Thanks, everybody. And this has been Episode 3 of Tornado Watch Utah Bound.